Greetings, bookworms, and welcome to the Bearded Book Club's production of Pluto from Augie and Me by R.J. Palacio. If you want to follow along in this and all of our productions, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications so you will be notified of all new videos as well as when we do our live shows. If you'd like to support Bearded Book Club, you could do so in two ways, both of which are listed in this video's description. Number one, you could become a patron and support us on a regular basis. Or number two, you can go to our Amazon wish list and send us a book as a one-time donation. So without further ado, let us continue. 11.59 p.m. It was almost midnight by the time I went back to my room. Everything was exactly the way I had left it this morning. My bed was still unmade. My pajamas were jumbled up on the floor. My closet door was wide open. Usually mom would make my room look nice after she dropped me off at school in the morning. But today, of course, she never got the chance to do that. It felt like days had passed since mom woke me up this morning. I closed the closet door, and that's when I noticed the trombone resting against the wall. So the accident didn't happen as she was bringing me my stuff this morning. I don't know why exactly, but this made me feel so much better. To put the trombone right next to the bedroom door, so I wouldn't forget it again on my way to school tomorrow, and I packed my science paper and gym shorts inside my backpack. <sniffs> then I sat down at my desk. Without thinking anything more about it, I replied to Elijah's text. Hey Elijah, thanks for the offer to join your band, but I'm going to stick with John at the spring concert. Good luck with Seven Nation Army. Even if I looked like a total dweeb at the spring concert, I couldn't let John down like that. That's what friends are for, right? It's the final countdown. Sometimes friendships are hard. I put my pajamas on, brushed my teeth, and got into bed. Then I turned off the lamp on my nightstand. The stars on my ceiling were glowing bright neon green now, as they always did right after I turned the lights off. I turned over on my side and my eyes fell on a small star-shaped green light on my floor. It was the star Mom had placed on my forehead this morning, which I had flicked across the room. I got out of bed, picked it up, and stuck it on my forehead. Then I got back in my bed and closed my eyes. We're leaving together, but still it's farewell, and maybe we'll come back to Earth. Who can tell? I guess there is no one to blame. We're leaving ground. Will things ever be the same again? It's the final countdown. The End We hope you have enjoyed this production of Pluto from Augie and Me by R.J. Palacio. If you enjoyed this book, book, please show the author support by buying a copy of this novel. A link where you can purchase a copy is listed in the description of this video and all of our videos. Until next story, bookworms. God bless you.